Hello and welcome to today's episode of CCTV. Hi there and welcome to CCTV, the place to be if you're trying to get more happy, more healthy, and more fit. I'm Christina Carlisle. I'm a personal trainer and I'm a nutritionist, but more importantly, um, I'm a former fat girl turned nutritionist and a trainer because I wanted to figure out a way I could get it right and get it tight. I had tried just about every diet and exercise program known to mankind. Um, I started my first diet when I was 11. And I just always felt like I struggled. Um, whether I was struggling with a diet, I was eating too little, I wasn't eating able to eat my favorite things because the diet was too restrictive or it was just too time consuming or it required like meticulous calorie counting. Like just I just could never seem to get my food right on this roller coaster ride of gain, lose, gain that started when I was 11 and lasted over a decade. Um, I couldn't seem to figure out how to get my exercise right too. Like I'd go to the gym and I'd struggle because I didn't know what I was doing so I'd be embarrassed or I'd be rolling my eyes on an elliptical machine or I was frustrated because I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. I was getting big and bulky, I was gaining weight, I wasn't getting itty bitty and like leaning out the way I wanted to. Couldn't seem to get my exercise right. And even when I could lose the weight, like the way I couldn't seem to get my body right. I couldn't seem to be like, well, I'm good. Even though the number on the scale got really low, and it got really low. I mean, there were some on my roller coaster ride of gain, lose, gain, I gained and lost the same 50 pounds, I don't know how many times over the course, over a decade. Um, some good diet, some healthy ways, some extreme ways. I mean, that's what happens when you don't know about food and exercise and you're desperate to change your body because you're really unhappy with the way you look, and that's how I was. So, when I stepped on the scale and saw the biggest number I'd ever seen in my life, instead of like freaking out, which is normally what I would do, I would like have a heart attack and my heart would sink and I would feel terrible about myself and feel like a failure. Um, instead of feeling all like, all like that, how I normally feel when I step on the scale and see a crazy number, I just saw the biggest number that I'd ever seen and I was like, I have to fix this. There has to be a better way. I need to get my food right, right? Because I don't want to die and exercise anymore. I'd be stressed out. Like, I need my food right. I need my exercise right. But this time, I wanted to get my mind right. I wanted to be happy. Like, I didn't want to just be going through the motions, rolling my eyes. I didn't want to be unrealistic either. I didn't want to run through the gym door with jazz hands. I wanted to be good. I wanted to be able to get my mind right and my body tight the right way. So I learned about food and I learned about exercise and I could use those to manipulate my body but I still felt like I was struggling because I was struggling with my mind. I just felt like maybe I wasn't good enough. You build up these habits and these thoughts and it can be negative. There's a lot of negative attached to weight loss. If you've ever been bullied, if you've ever like stepped on a scale and didn't like the number you saw, if you look in the mirror and you see your cellulite, you just see something you're, like you're, you're not liking the number you're wearing, you're not liking what you feel like somebody's thinking about you when you're on the beach and you're covering up, you're insecure, you're not good, you're not good, you, you're not happy. You have to be able to be happy no matter who, what size you are, no matter where you are in, in your life. Because when you're trying to lose weight, it's a lot easier to tap out when you're not feeling good. And especially when you're depressed and down about yourself. Um, I mean, it's just, it's challenging. So. On my quest to get happy, healthy, and fit, I got the food, I got the exercise, but I found the easiest way to make sure my mind was right was um, kind of doing an adaptation, um, a happy thoughts kind of challenge that I came up with. It's an adaptation of Eckhart Tolle's seven day mental diet. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Eckhart Tolle. Okay, so Eckhart Tolle is a spiritual guy, he's awesome. Highly recommend his stuff. He has a seven day mental diet where he says, it's like the power of positive thinking, right? So what he says is, you don't think anything but positive thoughts. So it's nothing but positive thoughts, and if a negative thought comes, you just brush it off, okay? So my challenge, my happy thought challenge for you um, is the same kind of thing. We're thinking nothing but positive thoughts, but anytime a negative thought comes in your mind, especially when it, with regards to your body and yourself, anytime you got a negative, like, oh, uh, we're gonna be late. Okay, so what? We can brush that off like Eckhart Tolle style, but when it comes to yourself, and you step on the scale, you don't like the number you see, or you, you had a taste of something and you feel guilt about it, 
when those negative things happen, and it's gonna happen, you're gonna do stuff. I mean, old habits die hard. But whenever that negative thought comes in, especially about yourself, I want you to counteract it with three positive thoughts, three happy thoughts about yourself. So if you step on the scale, you don't like the number you see, that's okay, we're so beautiful, we're so smart. We're gonna take the weight off, it's not a big deal. We're amazing, we're smart, we're positive, we're perfect, like we're, we're good no matter what. Like, and that was more than three things, obviously. I'm just trying to give you examples of what you could say. But any negative, anything comes in like, oh, my butt looks big. Nope, you know what, we're curvy, we're great, we're healthy, we're happy, we're able to wake up and walk and talk, we're alive, we're good, we will get there. We're beautiful, we're smart, whatever it is, whatever it is you wanna say to yourself, no matter what, just make it more personal to you, obviously. Just whatever it is that you need to say, we're successful, we can do this, we're gonna get there. Just three positives for every negative. And the other, the other thing that's different about my challenges with me, my thing is that there's no end date. So this isn't like a seven day thing. This is just like all the time thing. Whenever you think a negative thought, you just think happy thoughts, three happy thoughts. Because if you have that seven day expiration date, it's a lot easier to slink into your old habits. And if you want to be happy and stay happy, it can take sometimes 60 days for a habit to stick. So it's a constant daily practice for every negative three positives. And it will change your life. Slowly but surely, the frown will turn upside down and you will be good. Happy, healthy, fit. I promise it works if you work out. So that's today's episode. It's my challenge for you. Anytime negative, think three positives. You are beautiful. You're so smart. You're so special. You're one of a kind. Genetically speaking, there's nobody else like you. There never will be. You're so amazing. So your job is to just think amazing things about yourself and say lovely, sweet things to yourself. Even if you don't believe it over time, just do it. Just do it. Practice makes perfect. I'm telling you, it works if you work it. So I hope you like this episode. If you liked it, please like it so I know. And if you don't want to miss next week's episode, please subscribe now because I make a new video every Thursday. So rock this challenge. You can do it. Think happy thoughts. That's it. That's it. You can fly. Who doesn't want to fly? You deserve it. It works if you work it. Work it. You're worth it. And I will see you next time right here, same place, every Thursday. Bye.